Hey Ridge Runners, let's pace a Pleistocene ridgeline where the wind knives through spruce trees and the snowback crunches underfoot. This is the domain of Arctodus simus, the giant short-faced bear. Imagine this titan, long-legged, barrel-chested, and shockingly fast for its size. Its very skeleton screams runner, with limb proportions built for covering ground, but it's short. Broad snout suggests a powerful sense of smell, perfect for a master scavenger. And its jaw power? Well, that says, I finish what others start. So, was it a super predator or a colossal freeloader? The evidence paints a picture of a brilliant opportunist. Picture it shadowing packs of dire wolves and American lions, waiting for them to make a kill, only to stride in and bully them off their hard-earned meal. Imagine it launching into a straight-line charge across the open flats, testing a wounded bison or horse, or simply towering over a carcass. Its immense presence a clear signal that the lease on this meal has expired. Was it a sprinter or a bully? The bone math says both. It had high hips and long strides for efficient travel, plus a staggering reach that could plant a paw on a problem from much farther away than most victims would ever expect. Scientific analysis, like studying stable isotopes in its bones, confirms a diet heavy on meat. We've even found cut-marked bones in caves, showing that our own human ancestors were on the menu towards the end of the bear's reign. But the world was changing. As the ice retreated, the climate warmed, forests began to invade the open steppe, and new two-leg predators. Humans were rewriting the rules of the predator guild. The short-faced bear's world was shrinking. The sprinting mountain of muscle eventually faded into legend, leaving behind only fossilized scat, shattered long bones, and footprints in ancient mud that look like someone stamped the ground with dinner plates. If you want a small glimpse of this ancient playbook, just watch a modern grizzly bear claim a carcass from a pack of wolves. It's all there, sheer presence, relentless pressure, patience, and then a final, decisive shove. The ghost of Arctidus lives on. Want to explore more Ice Age power brokers? Subscribe, like, and drop a comment to let me know who we should chase across the snow next. Thanks for watching.